If you're gonna ladder, I'll give you a little shove like this and push you up, man. <laughs> This is not the kind of help I need. <laughs> Josh is on the mend and I almost have the deck closed in. I just need to get past some roadblocks. I'm having issues. As with everything else in this build, if we didn't work hard for it, it wouldn't get done. As each project unfolds, new challenges arise. Oh, it's so heavy. With a few late nights, muscle and humor, we'll get through. You have put it in! <laughs> they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Ah. So in keeping that spirit. So let the torture begin. He won't bite me, right? No, he's not gonna bite. <laughs> Welcome home, buddy. What do you want to call him? Rufus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good name. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Come on, Come on, buddy. There you go. Do <laughs> so you think the chickens are scared of him or they like him? I think everybody's trying to figure out. Who's the boss? <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? He's obviously the boss. Yeah, he's the new guard goose. Yep. So this goose's job is going to be a guard goose and he's going to live in here with our flock of laying hens and turkeys and help to look out for them or just call out when there's a predator nearby. He's a male African goose, so this is his job. He's, once he settles in, he's gonna know what his role is. <laughs> yeah. ah. What you got? Eggs. Got eggs? Ah. Yeah. You forgot your egg basket. Yeah. If you look close at him, you're gonna see that his wings on either side are flipped out a little bit. This is referred to as angel wings. It's actually a deformity due to like poor nutrition or confinement. Um, it really, like he's gonna be fine. There's not gonna be any effect on him in the place that we got him from. They are planning on making dinner out of him. So here he's not gonna have to worry about that issue. He's just gonna hang out and do his guard goose thing. What do you think, Leon? <laughs> I'm gonna start working on closing the rest of this up. We'd like to get the stone installed sooner rather than later. So I need to get Duroc put on this side and I need to get more brackets and two by tens put on that side. So the first thing I need to do is drill into the concrete so I can attach the brackets and the two by tens. remember if Josh drilled this first into the concrete before he put the bracket up like if he marked it and then drilled in kitty's here <laughs> but uh actually you know what I think he did I think that he put it up and he marked it and then he must have pre-drilled it in and then he put the screws in but in any case when Josh doesn't know how to do something he typically wings it so I'm gonna do the same thing <laughs> So much, Tim. I think it looks good. Right? I'm gonna go. that one more time and then I'll put on the Duroc. How you doing, girl? I'm having issues, I'm making mistakes, and I'm starting to sweat. Sweating? I'm sweating. I put the long screws 
through the 2 by 10 instead of the short screws. I'd, they went all the way through because they were the long screws instead of the short screws. But I, I took them out. Okay, I put them back in the same hole though. It went all the way through. Good thing you got me here, babe. Don't know what I'd do without you. This six by six post bumps out a little bit here, Josh. It's not flush. Supposed to. We're gonna, we're gonna double it up. Up here? Yeah. So I gotta put two pieces yes. of Duroc on? Yeah. Well, didn't you just make this easy for me? Oh my god, my battery's dead. On what? On like screw gun, I'm holding this in place. <laughs> Help. Come, come to the rescue, girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have put it in! <laughs> it hurt. Ryan. I was like, I thought this one was dead too. It started working, I was like, what? I <laughs> Ms. Lee, I don't feel like doing this anymore. This video is sponsored by Anchor. We love taking spontaneous trips, hiking, and trail riding. What we don't love is getting ready to head out and realizing all our batteries are dead. Our solution, the Anchor 521 Portable Power Station. This product keeps our camera, drones, cell phones, and laptops charged no matter what our location is. Anchor can be fully used 3,000 times and still have at least 80% of the battery capacity. Making it the trusted choice for portable power storage. Fast charge your phones, tablets, and laptop using 60 watt USB-C 
PD output, and it only takes one and a half hours to recharge 80% battery of the power station using the USB-C port together with the inbox adapter. With Anchor, you can be confident in your and your family's preparedness. Whether that means the ability to turn on lights and charge devices during a blackout, or being able to get your phones charged so you can communicate when you're in a remote location. Power your next trip with the Anchor 521 portable power station. The link is in the description box below. Now let's get back to the build. Oh, that's so heavy. But I think I can help at least push you up, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can let her grab like this, push up like this, and push you up, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's not the kind of help I need, Josh. <laughs> I'm here for you, though, you know? <laughs> so we have two new Simplify batteries to get installed today, which is super exciting, except for the fact that they are extremely heavy, and we have to get them from here up to there. Yes. Dude, don't, on, don't drop it. this, okay? <laughs> But if you are going to drop it, push it that way, you know? I'm not going to drop it. Okay. Are you scared? No. I'm scared. You should be. Why? We'll get it up there. Get up there. Come on. Give it to this. Okay. One more. It's important to ensure that the wires coming off the batteries are all the same length. So Josh is going to need to scoot both of the bus bars down slightly to the left. So the new batteries have the same length cord coming off of them as the rest of the batteries that are installed. <laughs> it's taken us a couple of years to get our system to where it is today. And it just reminds me of how far we have come. I mean, when I say that life looks a lot different these days, I mean it. <laughs> We have come so, so far. Been without water for about seven or eight weeks now. Mm -hmm. We moved out here with nothing and had to work for every single thing from water to electricity. Each comfort we got back has been so rewarding. Yeah! We have power. But of course we didn't get here without our fair share of struggles and mistakes. Did have a couple of uh, mess ups there. It happened, it happened. We done this type of stuff. Yeah. Gotta keep on going. Little by little, as finances allowed, we added on to the system, growing it from being capable of running the house on sunny days to running the house on stormy days as well, and to having a large battery backup. We went from three batteries to eight, one charge controller to three, and 12 solar panels to 32. So we have full-time power now. This is a huge milestone for us, something that we have dreamed about and worked towards for a really long time now. This thing can run all of our AC and everything in the house without a problem. It's been a long process, but by just putting one foot in front of the other and staying dedicated, we were able to slowly make progress. And it's because of where we've been and how hard we've worked that we're so grateful for things like running water and lights at the flick of a switch. It's those kinds of things that we honestly probably used to take for granted in other homes that we've lived in. I mean, I can definitely say that I never spent time staring at the drywall and appreciating the work that it took to put it there or appreciating so much having it or staring at the shower or a flushing toilet and just being so grateful to have that sort of thing. We've come a really long way.
We're good. We're all programmed up. So Josh is inspecting my work over there. He says it looks super fantastic and that he's learned a thing or two. <laughs> okay, he's finishing the screws because <laughs> I got a little tired last night. I'll give it to you, you know. <laughs> she does great. I deserve a break, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I feel a lot better, so why not? So does that mean I could take the rest of the day off? No, you have a whole day. I can't do that yet. <laughs> I can't, I can't pick that digging bar up and go, go to town, but I can use this. I have been putting this off. Let's be honest. I got to dig a hole right there, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. The reason that I need a hole there is because we need to put a 6x6 six six post there that's going to attach to the top of the deck because from the end of the Duroc you see right here, over a little bit is going to be left open with like a probably a barn style sliding door. Um, we have the whole under deck roofing system in there so that the boys can pull their four wheelers and dirt bikes through. So it's kind of like a garage door sort of thing that's going to be on this side and the opposite side for them to pull all the way through, as well as for us just to access underneath there that also has another door that goes underneath the house. So I got to put a post right there so I can attach more Duroc and close in this whole other side that stone's going to be attached and then attach the wood that's going to go under the side of the steps. And I'm not looking forward to this job at all. Both character though. So let the torture begin. Yes. You got it, girl. I'm not getting anywhere, it feels like. I'm digging and digging. I'm like, like 15 inches down. 15? Yeah. That's good news. What's that you, Chuck? <sighs> He's here for moral support. Oh, it's all shale. I hit it and it just clinks like rock. Right there. Right there. Ellie. Yes. Go get the boss. Ask him if the hole's deep enough. <laughs> uh, this is one small dilemma. What? This one small dilemma is you are 30 inches deep. Yes. We're 30 inches deep at it's this big. That's not true at all. It's definitely true. You know what? I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. That was really hard. You know that? I suddenly appreciate you for all those holes you've done. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Now you know. <laughs> now that the hole is dug, we can get the six by six post cut, placed, and backfilled. Josh is well on his way to being back in the game while still treading carefully so he doesn't risk further injuring himself. It's pretty good. We needed both of us to get this far and we need both of us at 100% to finish. The solar isn't the only thing that has evolved over time. So have our goals and our skills and our ability to recognize the need to rest so we can pick up where we left off tomorrow.
job, babe. I ain't going nowhere, girl. You know, you are 10 inches in and say, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. I knew you could. My arms are about to fall off. I know. <laughs> do anything, babe. I needed you to come in and finish it off. Got it. <laughs>